Evolution holds that dinosaurs evolved 220 million years ago and died about 65 million years ago from any of a number of possible extinction events. But the Bible teaches that all land animals, including dinosaurs, were created on the sixth day of creation, just thousands of years ago. And they were all named by Adam just before God handed over his completed creation to Adam and Eve, charging them to take dominion over his completed creation. Then, about 4,400 years ago, the entire world was deluged by Noah's flood, and the dinosaurs, along with billions of other creatures, were wiped out. Let's take a quick look at some evidences that show that the biblical account might actually be true. First, dinosaurs are cleverly designed. Consider this Triceratops. Its 2,000-pound head is mounted in a way that allows it to turn every which way, yet still be strong enough to ram something, even while running. What about massive seropods with weight-bearing systems from hip to toe that allow its 200,000-pound body to even walk, and neck vertebrae that are 90% filled with air so it can lift up its head? Next, there's the absence of dinosaur ancestors and transitions. Even the Chicago Field Museum sign admits there have been zero transitions between dinosaur kinds. It shows question marks regarding where they came from. It's almost like someone just put each basic kind on Earth right at the same time. There are even dinosaur design features that show they lived in the ideal pre-flood world. Sauropods can exceed 200,000 pounds, yet they have tiny nostrils for breathing. Pterodactyls may have been too heavy to fly in today's atmosphere. Same with huge pre-flood dragonflies. The fossil record is filled with giant creatures and plants. We know this because there are billions of dead things buried in rock layers laid down by water all over the earth. And when we look at the dinosaur fossil record, we see that they were buried furiously, rapidly, and simultaneously, oftentimes found fleeing in groups. Take this massive bone bed in Hilda, Canada. Thousands of centrosaurs were catastrophically buried over an entire square mile. Or this one in China, where thousands of different kinds of dinosaurs were simultaneously buried in a single 980-foot-long ravine. There are hundreds of dinosaur bone beds all over the world, including the U.S. where the Morrison Formation covers 13 states and 700,000 square miles. Thousands of torn apart dinosaurs are buried here in hundreds of mass graves, with many found in the classic death pose with their necks arched back, choking as they died. Museum signs everywhere even admit they died in a watery catastrophe. Some dinosaurs are even found mummified, with tree leaves, flowers, ferns, shrubs, and algae still in their stomach. Dinosaurs are even found buried with marine creatures, isn't a global flood the best explanation for this? Scientists have been discovering soft tissue in dinosaur bones. Just in the last 20 years, over 50 articles have been published in scientific journals that have documented 14 bioorganic materials in dinosaur bones that simply cannot be millions of years old. These include blood vessels, red blood cells, hemoglobin, bone cells, ovalbumin, chitin. Many dinosaur bones are even found unfossilized in places like Madagascar, Alaska, and Montana. Collagen, which has a maximum shelf life of about 900,000 years at 40 degrees. With a maximum shelf life of less than 1 million years, what's collagen doing in dinosaur bones that are supposedly 65 million years old? Limited DNA, skin pigments, FEX proteins, histones, keratin, and elastin. Just 20 years ago, most scientists simply assumed dinosaur bones were solid mineralized impressions of bones. But modern science has now revealed that many of the dinosaur bones are original, even at the molecular level. The fact that over a dozen states in the U.S. are filled with dinosaur fossils buried under heaps of mud also attests to the flood. In fact, geologists have found what was a temporarily exposed dinosaur peninsula where the dinosaurs made their last stand now buried there along with lake and sea life transported by the massive waves. Deposits thousands of feet thick occur east and west of this temporarily exposed peninsula that extended from Minnesota to New Mexico. Now buried across it are pre-flood wetland plants and animals, including dinosaurs, turtles, frogs, fish, and many birds. Thousands of dinosaur trackways up and down this peninsula Plus, similar temporarily exposed low areas on other continents suggest that dying dinosaurs and other hardy track makers floated, waded, and walked on freshly deposited mud trying to find safe ground. When coming up over the dinosaur peninsula, the Zuni mega sequence catastrophically buries dinosaurs in the Morrison Formation, a 13-state area encompassing over 700,000 square miles. This Jurassic unit includes at least 141 massive dinosaur boneyards, where dinosaurs like Camarasaurus, Diplodocus, Apatosaurus, Stegosaurus, and Allosaurus are found. The Cretaceous layers, like the Hell Creek Formation, are found on top of the Jurassic, holding hundreds of mass boneyards containing several different types of dinosaurs, such as T. rex, Triceratops, Centrosaurus, and Edmontosaurus that had been living in a different ecosystem, also buried by the Zuni. 
The Zuni was so massive and fast that it engulfed entire regions with mud flows, burying giant creatures like this T-Rex under 50 feet of muddy sediment, entombed so quickly that preserved blood cells, blood vessels, and bone cells were found just recently. How much water does it take to pile 50 feet of mud on top of a dinosaur? The Dinosaur National Monument in Utah contains thousands of visible bones from 11 kinds of dinosaurs that were buried in a jumbled mass in the Morrison Formation, together with crocodiles, turtles, lizards, frogs, and clams. What type of event would it take to bury all these different land animals with millions of clams? When the Dinosaur Peninsula flooded over completely, large herds of dinosaurs were entombed in massive fossil graveyards in the Upper Cretaceous system found in northern Wyoming, Montana, and Alberta, Canada. The dinosaurs had tried to escape by fleeing northward up the peninsula as waters advanced from the south. This explains this massive graveyard in northern Montana that's over 1.2 miles long and contains 30 million fossil fragments representing over 10,000 adult Myasaura that were simultaneously buried. In this entire collection of bones, not a single baby was found. Every one of these 10,000 Myasaura was between 9 and 23 feet long. Does this seem like the adult dinosaurs were stampeding away from the raging floodwaters with 100% of their young falling behind and being engulfed in a different part of the peninsula? Just 170 miles northeast of this location is one of the largest dinosaur graveyards in the world, one that even secular scientists admit was caused by a watery catastrophe. Here, thousands of centrosaurs are buried in 14 mega bone beds over an entire square mile, which is nearly 500 football fields. Looks like a massive herd of these creatures, thousands of them, were simultaneously buried in mud by Noah's flood. Just 45 miles west from this location is yet another massive flood deposit, and this one even has 49 different species of dinosaurs buried along with turtles, crocodiles, fish, flying reptiles, birds, and small mammals. What type of disaster could bury 49 species of dinosaurs and many other types of animals, including marine life, together in massive graves? These mass burial sites are common in the U.S. as well. For example, look at this dinosaur dig site in Wyoming, where a one-meter thick layer of mudstone stretches for 80 acres with over a million bones buried in a graded, sorted bed, where big bones are found at the bottom and little bones on top. The only way to develop a graded bed like this is by a catastrophic process that transports these bones and deposits them during a single event. Large flying creatures like pterosaurs were able to fly to escape the rising floodwaters, delaying their demise until the later stages of the flood. The fossil record shows they are buried in many different layers all over the world. Does this evidence seem to support the Bible's recent and violent flood or evolution stories? Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Looking for answers about what the Bible teaches about creation, the fossil record, dinosaurs? Download the Genesis Apologetics app for answers to these questions and more.